You're live. We're live. Hey. Hey, fellas and ladies. ladies we've gone. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the kitchen. Is TV it really live? Kitchen. Is anyone there? Let's see. Hello. Yeah, I think so. We yeah, we're good. We're on. Woo! Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. This is a different setup. We are so excited to do this. This is the first time. Hi, Cammy. <laughs> Cammy's yeah. moderating for us today. Thank, thank you, Cammy. Cammy and Alexis, thank you so much, ladies, for moderating. Thank you, ladies. I'm going to be monitoring the chat over here on the laptop <laughs> so I can in, in, uh, interact with you guys while Natasha cooks and talks to you. Cooking up a storm. Please let us know if you can hear Luca okay. Hello, 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 hello. 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 Oh, this is so exciting. I'm really nervous because, like, cooking in front of people, I feel like I'm on a cooking television show. <laughs> I don't want to cut myself. I don't want to burn anything. <sighs> Let's see how we go. <laughs> All right. Woo. Yeah, I'm going to read some comments. You guys are the best. Ah, thank you. Woo the Can't chat's wait. frozen here. Oh, it's moving here. So okay. excited. Yes, we can hear him. Great. Thank you so much for letting us know. Shout out to the three dislikes already. Yeah. <laughs> Hi from Australia. Hi everyone. Master Chef. Vegan Master Chef. You know why? Because, what does my shirt say? Animals are friends, not food. So we are not cooking our friends today. We are cooking plants. Lots of plants. Hey from the USA, Connecticut. Hello. This Hi from Montreal. Not, this chat's not Love working. your shirt, Natasha. Already? Oh, well, it's very... It's very, delayed. Very, it's delayed? Yeah. Um, What's your last comment? Can you do this regularly? We're gonna see how it goes. Hey, LJ, legends. Hey, legend. LJ. <laughs> yeah. Hi really? from Tokyo. Hi from Canada. Hey, LJ. Vegan master chef. That's us. This is not working for me. Refresh. Hi from New York. Hi from Colorado. Come I was on. about to sleep, but I guess not anymore. <laughs> Pretty exciting stuff. Come on, Luca. It's not happening for me. Refresh the page. I do. I've done it several times. Oh, it's like maybe really time. retarded. It's really like. Slow. Try um, try doing it through in and out maybe. <sighs> I might All right, some Atlanta, on. Ohio. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Houston. Thank you for joining us. This is really really cool. I'm gonna wait for some more people to get on. Cool. Yeah. Hi. I'm supposed to be doing homework. Ah, this is more exciting than homework, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Good. Michigan. Yeah, the shooting in Vegas, it's awful. Absolutely awful, horrible. Absolutely awful. So sorry to anyone who lives in Las Vegas or knows anyone who's been injured. It was just, we saw it last night before we went to bed and felt sick. I actually, I heard sirens all night last night and I kept feeling really anxious. It was just awful it night. It was terrible. We recently, horrible. we were recently snapped, um, someone was at like VegFest Las Vegas a few days ago and it looked fantastic yeah. and now this, it's just like, oh my God. Awful. Horrible to hear. Uh, yeah, heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So, yeah, sorry about that. It's just, it's an awful, awful thing that's happened. Our thoughts and prayers go out to everybody there. All right, so today we are cooking. This yes, but this will be a happy occasion. It will be. How are you going? No, it's not working it's not for me. Why is it not working try, for me? Try looking at this, Natasha and Luca. Uh, I, I shouldn't matter. You're going to okay. have to. Just try it out. Yeah. <laughs> Mind the things that go on in the background. So thank you everyone who for joining us. Thank you to our moderators, as we said. Um, thank you to everybody who contributes to Super Chat. We're always super grateful. Thank super you guys. grateful for Super Chat. <laughs> as we mentioned last time, this is a, just very helpful for creators who are struggling with YouTube because they're awful and the monetization thing and everything. So very, very grateful. All right, today we are cooking just like one of our regular meals. We get lots of questions from people and we just wanted to show something different and help people out, um, especially if they're transitioning to veganism or maybe just vegan, you know, curious how to cook plant food. So we're going to show you a few things that we cook regularly. Okay, what am I going to start with? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, I think what I'm going to start with is I'm going to preheat the oven. Um, which one's the other thing? That one? And I'm going to put that on. Okay. Do I need to put a timer to make the oven work? Okay. Do I need to put a timer to make the oven work? Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Now we're. A oh, this is we're working on? now. All right. <laughs> um, timer for the oven. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably. I don't even know how the oven works properly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great start. That one, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. do you need this to yeah. make the noise? That's all right. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Might turn off. That's yeah, great. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Alright. Alright, oven is on. <laughs> God, that's funny. And what we're gonna do is let's work with some tempeh. What are you cooking? You're gonna see. Oops, hold on. And we've got some tofu today. We have tempeh and tofu. Oh Natasha, you're looking absolutely beautiful, says the vegan sweet potato. Oh Thank my you. gosh. She is. Adjust your camera. It's maybe not. Is this dinner or lunch for you guys? We just had breakfast. So it's we're like... cooking lunch hours in advance because we're trying to meet a uh, US friendly time. So <laughs> <laughs> we've just had breakfast, it's nine o'clock in the morning for us. We're not going to have this until lunchtime, so we'll just uh, keep it as leftovers. Someone says, Wow, girl, your arms, get those vegan gains. <laughs> You're just back in the gym now. I aren't am. You? I just started going oh. back to the gym. My wrist got better from an injury like last year. April so. last year? Yes. Or May last year? May last year. Yeah. So I've just started lifting again. Yes, <clears throat> Mersham, this is going to be loaded to our channel later. If you can't stick with us, yes. it will be on the channel. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to give you a job. Okay, that's fine. Talk to me. Okay, oh, it's going to spill. Can you tip that out in the sink? Yep. Cut it open and just wash it under the water. Yep. Okay, so what we're going to do is use tempeh and tofu as a bit of a base for our meal. Now, it's 3 a.m. in the UK. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it. It'll be on the channel later if you need to go to bed. Yes. So, tempeh and tofu, or well, specifically um, tofu, is it's just kind of like a bland nothing food. So we always say it's like a base and you marinate it, you make it, you know, taste delicious with all the seasonings. It's a blank canvas. It's a blank canvas, exactly. And we treat it the way you would animal flesh, you know, meat, because meat doesn't taste like anything until you flavor it. So we're doing the same thing that we would normally do or regularly do um, with meat. We're going to do with tempeh and tofu. So. And nobody gets hurt. Nobody gets hurt. <sighs> <laughs> okay, if you don't know what tempeh is or you've never seen it before, um, here you go. So it's made from soybeans and you can see that it's less processed than tofu because you can actually see the beans. So that's tofu. You know, you can't see the beans anymore, but in the tempeh you can. Yeah. It originates from Indonesia, I think. Yeah, it's beautiful. Like, I, we prefer tempeh. It's got more of a... Um, more body, more bite, yeah. more texture. And it's got also a taste to it, whereas yes. te uh, tofu is just like nothing. It's kind of, kind of nutty, but not quite. Yeah, yeah. It's got a nice smell, actually. Every time I cook it, Luca's like, hmm, that's really nice. What is it? Like, it's the tempeh. So... <laughs> So what we're going to do is chop these up and then we're going to marinate them. Where's my bin? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at my helper. <laughs> now. And if you're interested, guys, tempeh, the macros are about a third protein, a third carbs, a third fat, whereas tofu is almost 50% fat. So at about, I think, 30% protein or 25% protein. So... Yeah, um, there's the macro differences between tempeh and tofu. So we've been using both of them, um, just because it's something different and adds a nice body to your cooking. And if you want more protein in your diet, you can have that. Yeah, someone says tofu comes in a variety of consistencies. That's right. There's silken, which is really, really soft. There's firm. There's probably extra firm, and there's probably others that I've neglected to mention. Yeah. Um, yeah, someone says, well, they didn't know tofu was so high in fat. And that is yeah. why they use soybeans as a meat replacement, because meat is high in both fat and protein. Now, most beans are actually very low in fat, like pinto beans or haricot beans are only 4% fat. But soybeans are much higher in fat. Nutritionally, soybeans are between a bean and a nut. So that's why soybeans are used to replicate meat products as opposed to other types of legumes because it's naturally higher in fat and protein to simulate meat. 
Fascinating stuff, isn't it? Thank you, Luca. Soft, to soft tofu is great in soups. Yes, it is. Yes, in fact, beautiful. the first time we ever tried tofu was before we were even vegetarian. Yeah. And we tried it in a soup at an Asian restaurant and we loved it. We loved it. And we're so happy that we loved it the first time because some people can be put off uh, from it the first time and never try it again. Yeah. But we, even as non-vegetarians, liked it. So yeah. that was good. All right, so I'm just going to, um, I've cut the tofu up in about this size, like little blocks. And I've done this before with tofu. I haven't done it with tempeh, but we thought we'd just do both. The tempeh I've cut up in this size strip, but really anything's going to go. So let's do the tofu first. I'll just put them in this dish here. I'll show you in a second. Maybe that's too fat. Do you think that's too fat? I don't know. Hey, David, yeah. David Henderson <laughs> says, holy shit balls, Batman, a cooking show by that <laughs> vegan couple. What a brilliant idea. Thanks, mate. Thank was, you, David. Thank you for all your support. It was actually one of the um, things that was suggestions that was made when we were saying, guys, what do you want to see from us? Um, you know, several months back when we yeah. were on the island. And this was one of the ones that came up. This is exciting. It's we good, listen and we respond. <laughs> Why am I talking with Z knife? I'm going to hurt someone. Stephanie Powell says, oh, yes, okay. too fat. Too fat? Okay, all right. I've cut them down a little bit and I've also done them in smaller cubes. <laughs> Hannah says, thick tofu. <laughs> That's thick tofu. <laughs> all right. All right, let's just start with this. I'm still nervous. I've got a little bit of shakes. <laughs> How crazy is that? Cole so, from Iowa says, love you too, uh, you're the best. You make me laugh, but you also make me think. <laughs> well, Cole that's a good Iowa. thing. <laughs> Look out, Lucas, she's got a knife, I know. I'll have to... Uh... Dun, 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 I'll have to arm myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, oh, see, this is dangerous, people. I picked up the cayenne when I wanted the paprika. Now, if I used cayenne the way I'm going to use paprika, we'd be dead. So let's put that away before Natasha makes a very bad boo-boo. White Mexican says, what pan are you using? We're using a green pan. It's a ceramic lining, non-stick, very healthy, really good. We picked it up for like 50 Australian dollars, which is even less in US dollars. So yeah, um, we've got a link on our website if you're interested. Okay. Very good. So, ready, let's go. Basically, you're just going to marinate this the way you would, as I said before, meat. Um, so we're going to use some soy sauce. It's the stupidest lid in the world. There you go. <laughs> okay, a little bit. Of, actually, can I? I'll oh, just take this. I don't want to put too much because then it's going to be too salty. So sometimes we just measure it out with a spoon. We don't eat gluten free because we're not celiac. But um, if you are gluten free, this soy sauce, for example, is a gluten free one. So you can get gluten free soy sauces if you are if you do have celiac disease. But that's only one percent of the population, so I'm not even sure why I mentioned that. But some people like to avoid gluten even if they don't have celiac disease, just because they might have a sensitivity or they don't feel the best after. So shut up, Luca. I know. <laughs> and of course, you can just use salt too. That's totally fine. Okay, so we put some soy sauce on. Then I'm going to use this um, all-purpose, just a mix of different, uh, what are they? Just a seasoning. So this has got, oh, where is it? Onion, spices, including parsley, basil, oregano, thyme, red pepper, garlic, lemon peel, celery, and paprika. It's just a nice little mix. This smells amazing. It does. Smell it, smell it. <laughs> smell a vision. Smell. Right, give that a good coating. Hannah says, Snapchat army, yeah! Yay! Snapchat, Snapchat. fans! Woohoo! All right, now, oh, that was a little bit too intense in my nostrils. <laughs> okay, and this is just herb and garlic powder. So it's, you know what? Oh my gosh, the pictures are almost the same. I'm basically putting on the same They're thing slightly here. different though, but this they're both garlic. very tasty. Both of them are salt free. Yeah. Um, I guess if we weren't using soy sauce, then maybe a seasoning with salt would be okay. But uh, if we're using soy sauce, then we don't need- You don't need it. You know, salt in the seasoning as well. Then it gets too much sodium, too much bloating. Paprika. Oh, that's definitely just got up my nostrils. Oh, Alexis looks like she's just joined us, unless she's been there. She says, we have been in the other live stream waiting. What other live stream? Oh gosh, are we doing this wrong? Hopefully this is... What other live stream? Oh my goodness. Oh God. 
Are we doing this right? Hopefully, there's oh, people. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Someone says I prefer to marinate my tofu. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, ideally we would have done this ahead of time, but we wanted to show the seasoning process, didn't we? Yeah, exactly. So once you've marinated, we're all heading over here now. Where are you coming from? Maybe we've done this wrong. <gasps> oh. We're all chatting while waiting. What? Someone says you, you are doing it right. You had one waiting with a title. Really? If you were waiting um, before nine at the sun. Oh, sorry guys, I don't know. I don't I, know. We don't know. We just press go live now and that seems to happen. Yeah. So. Okay. This is the Tammy empty says, room. No, no, it's good. <laughs> don't panic, Natasha. It's all good, says Stephanie. Okay, all right, thank you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> all right, so this is your marinated tofu. Now, ideally, you would set this aside. I'd put it in the fridge for a couple of hours. We could even do it overnight because just like anything, the longer you um, leave it to marinate, um, the tastier it's going to be as it absorbs the flavor. But because we are cooking live, we're going to skip that process. And here's one I prepared earlier. Well, I didn't really, I just prepared it now. So we're just gonna cook it now as is. And the last time I did this, we just pan fried it, but I want it to be a bit more crispy like it was baked. So we're gonna bake it in the oven this time. Now, we don't have a proper baking tray, so we're just going to put some of this Oven's ready, <laughs> non-stick paper on the rack, and... Oh. When we live in Australia, we can get a really super duper environmentally friendly, healthy, uh, non-stick baking paper. It's not available here in Thailand, so yeah, we just got what We're we could. We're gonna use whatever we can. But um, again, we've got a link to that on our website if you're interested, if you don't yeah. know. Um, you know that there are some that are environmentally friendly like bleach and chlorine free and others that aren't so great so yeah you can look into that if you like do the best you can stephanie says i can feel your energy through the computer this is so exciting it's <laughs> like i'm there with you oh, that's the idea stephanie so glad you're yeah. here with us thank you oh, i just remembered what i forgot i think i wanted to squirt lemon on it do you want to get a lime yes we yeah. can get a lime Thailand is like one of the lime capitals of the world. So it's, many limes. It's not a it's not a lemon country, it's a lime country. Yeah, thanks. Alright, so that's the tofu. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with the tempeh. Just because um the thing the bowl wasn't big enough. We've gone quiet. We're <laughs> concentrating. I tell you what, the marinade just smells beautiful, you know? That's that's the thing. You season um animal products, meat, flesh, with plants, don't you? To make it smell good and taste good. Exactly. Tilly Wynn says, wait, I thought you guys were in Hong Kong. That was no. a month ago, Tilly Wynn. Keep Get, up. Come on, check the channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were just there for like five days or something, four days. Four nights, four yeah, nights yeah. so, yeah. Wow, Luca is so much taller than I realized. Okay, so can you just stand up? Because people, when I say I'm tiny, <laughs> So next, there you go. Closer, closer, equal. But it's not like Carly Bible and Brett Cap. He's like six five. Yeah. And she would be just one inch taller than me. Five one. Okay. So. So yeah. there you go. Like That's six, us. Six one and five. Five. And yeah. when we're recording videos, I'm always sitting on a a little cushion or a little towel just to prop me up. Otherwise, the height difference too much. Oh my God! Not just another guy says. You know what I did today? I met Dr. Gregor on oh, so high. Wow! Yay. Fantastic. Cool. That How was great. it? I'm asking you as if you can answer me instantly. <laughs> How was it? Plants make the world go around, they sure do. Absolutely. All right, so the tempeh is marinated too and there was lots left in the um, dish, so I'm just sort of moving that around. I'm gonna put the oven on again. Someone says, uh, wait, how long did you marinate the tofu? Ideally, we would have done it overnight. Overnight? Put it in the fridge, yeah? Yeah, but even just a couple of hours is good. I did it for a couple of hours last time. I guess the longer, the, the as more I said, the, the longer the better. Will, yeah, yeah, just it absorb. absorbs. You could still fight against Carly Bible one, I guess, <laughs> <laughs> because they're similar heights. Why, why, why are they fight? They're friends. <laughs> oh 
onlookers that BFG, the big friendly giant. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's it like had a good. bit of a vegan thing, it sort did. of, didn't it? Yeah, that was a good yeah, movie. Yeah, he was vegan. He seemed to be vegan, the BFG. I like Are we going to... Do you think we should put lime on lime? Is that going to burn it? What do you think? Um... Hmm. Lime? Mate. Oh, that's cool. About meeting Dr. Gregor. Yep, yeah, sign the book. Yeah, someone says lime, yes. Lime, yes. Uh, Alright, let's do it. So much for hands. That's uh, Lemmy Winkle says lime, yes. <laughs> Who would win in a fight? Elise, Elise Webb, is that between Carly Bible and Natasha or, or Natasha and I? If it's Natasha I and I, win. it's Natasha. If it's Carly Bible and Natasha, I, I don't I know. I think it's Carly Bible. She's feisty. Oh, something. Oh, oh just, Frenzy Covens just. Um, donated on the super chat. Thank you, TBC, for the answer earlier today on Snapchat. For everything you guys do for the animals and the planet, we need more people like you. Keep on the good work. Thank oh, you so thank much. Thank you, Frenzy Covens. That is so sweet. Did you see what I nearly did there? I went, thank you. We've been... <laughs> I'm going to hurt myself. That's very generous. Thank you so much. Frenzy Covens, what is your username on Snapchat? Because we answer a lot of questions every yeah. day, so we're not exactly sure which question you're thanking us for answering. Uh, do you have the same username on Snapchat as you do here on YouTube? It's 50 euro. Yeah, I know. 50 euro. Oh my God. Uh, Thank you so much. I know. Much. It's so incredibly generous. If you have generous. any more questions, please ask them and we'll definitely <laughs> come back to That's you. That's incredibly generous. All right. Just going to squeeze this on. This is a bit of a tough one. Jamie M says, a few weeks ago I was watching Lucent with my little ones. We went to the park today and someone offered my little ones cookies. They said, no, thank you. We don't eat animals. Well done, Janie. That's how it's yeah. done. I don't That's know, Janie, whether done. you were the person who let us know that you let your children watch Lucent uh, recently. We saw that on some of our social media. Yeah. Excellent job. You know, we've got to show the kids the truth. We can't lie to them about where their food comes from. They need to know. They need to know the truth. I'm just going to interrupt. Oh, yes. the oven's very hot. Okay, so everything is marinated. Lime has been squeezed. In we go. Yeah, Janie M says it was her on Instagram. I thought we oh, remembered okay. you. Yeah, well done, Janie. Now, do you, what, where shall I put this? Higher? Uh, yeah, maybe. Let's do that one. Yeah. Do you guys drink wine? We stopped eat, drinking alcohol eight years ago next month. Here we go. Just in case you don't know what the inside of an oven looks like. That's hilarious. Okay. Someone says, why do some wines say vegan? I don't get that. Because uh, wines that aren't vegan, uh, are often clarified using animal ingredients like egg whites, for example. Uh, they might have um, animal ingredients used in the filtration process. So to work out um, which liquor and spirits and beers and wines are vegan, you use a website called barnivore.com. Barnivore. Uh, and that, it's, that's a great site. Most alcohol is vegan, but um, that site will tell you which alcohol is not. Okay, next. Thank you, Luca. This is great. I'm having so much fun. Oh, Cole oh, Goose thank donated. Thanks for everything you do. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. For your donation. Really appreciate it, Cole. Okay, hold on. The stove's on, so I've got to quickly say this. Now we're cooking quinoa. <laughs> quinoa is a seed like grain. Did I get that right? It's a grain like seed. There you so, go. So, yeah, it, it acts as a grain, but it's technically a seed. Barnivore, it's sorry, someone asked the spelling. B A R N I V O R E. Barnivore, like herbivore. But bar, because you drink at a bar. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, um, I've put in about three quarters of a cup of water into the pan here. Now, the quantities is going to vary depending on how much quinoa you're cooking. So, I'm going to cook, how much quinoa? About half a cup? Yeah, sure. Yeah, half a cup. This is just for me because Luca has rice. I prefer quinoa. We're just doing that these days. Um, and this is a rice cooker cup. It's not a standard measuring cup. So ignore the quantities, basically. Yeah, this um, rice cooker cup is about 0.8 of a standard metric cup. 80% of a standard metric cup. Yeah. Celeste says, my daughter Bella, who's eight years old, says hi from New Jersey. Please hi. say hi to her. Hello, hi, Bella. Bella. Mwah. Hi to New Jersey. It's lovely that you even know us. Thank you so much. How right. do you rinse your quinoa? Yeah, you need a, a colander or a um, strainer that has small enough uh, holes. Like, um, you, don't. you know those little fine mesh ones? 
that's how you rinse quinoa. When we've owned one of those in the past, that's how we used to rinse it. We don't own one at the moment, so we actually don't rinse it. So yeah, it's not that awesome, but hey, you know, we don't have one, so what do you do? Okay, so once your water is boiling, um, you're just going to add the quinoa. And quinoa is, um, it cooks ooh, quite quickly, so you just want to give it a little bit of a stir. And basically what's going to happen is the grain is going to absorb the water. Um, you can have a look. See? And I'm going to turn the heat down as well. And I hope that's straight. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to put, like this pan doesn't have a proper lid, so I'm just going to use this from the big pan. And what you want to do with quinoa is you want to just keep adding um, a little bit of water as needed. So don't put too much water in initially, like what Luca did yesterday, ended up with the <laughs> quinoa mush. No, yeah, but the good thing about quinoa is that even if you put too little, you can always add more, and even if you put too much, it'll eventually evaporate. But How convenient! Yeah, but it does use more uh, power while it's taking longer to evaporate. It just makes it mushier. So basically start with less and add it if you need it, right? So while that's going, we're going to chop some veggies and water saute them up. Now, is this fun? Are you guys having fun? Do you it, like they it? They are, they yeah? are. Yeah, someone says uh, cooking quinoa is like cooking risotto or rice. Yeah, yeah correct. It's, it's the absorption method. That's Oops. what... Uh, you're referring to. Yes, that's right. So I'm going to just chop up a red onion. Um, you can use white onion if you like it. We always find white onion too strong, so we prefer red. Uh, someone says, now that you guys are in a place with the legit oven and stove, what have you done with the rice cookers and convection ovens? Do you still use them? So we've got the multi cooker over here, which we still use every day for our beans because it's a slow cooker for beans. And we've got the rice cooker behind it. Uh, which we still use for oats and rice <laughs> and uh, the convection ovens we left one with the landlords that we stayed with for eight months on the island where we were living they that, really appreciate it that was alberto our yeah, son alberto. he's been adopted and then our daughter what's her name what's our daughter's name alejandra, alejandra. Yeah. we um gave her to one of our vegan Friend. friends uh on the island so he has that in his caring so both children have That's gone good. to good homes yeah. Is that rain? It's raining. It's the raining. weather this morning has been crazy. I can't look at the screen while I'm chopping. I'm scared I'm going to lose a finger. Everyone's saying, Alberto, oh no. Alberto, oh, I no. know, I know. Oh, thank you. Sarah, thank you so much thank you, for Sarah. your donation. She says, thank you so much for all you both do. I've been subscribed for about a year and you both have been such a help in my vegan journey. That's I beautiful. Also have, oh, thank it's you. I also have a question. What's your opinion on a raw vegan diet? Yes, we talk about that in um, a couple of videos, yeah. um, but basically to summarize, we don't think it's sustainable for 99.99% .99 of the world population, so we don't promote it. And also it's just hard, like it's hard for people coming from a standard diet of animal products to a vegan diet. There are obstacles, let's yeah. face it, right? And then you go and make that even harder by saying, well now I eat raw food and not cooked food, and it's like, Oh, they're just going to put too many people off. Yeah. It's hard to get enough calories in. It's inconvenient. It's hard when you're out and trying to be social. It can potentially be more expensive because yeah. fruit uh, costs more per calorie than starch, for example. So, yeah, there's just many factors that make a raw vegan diet not sustainable no. uh, for the vast majority of people. So. Oh, there's... Um I can see. Can see. Oh, Sari Suri has also pledged $10. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you and very Ste much. Stephanie Powell from Canada, $20. Keep up the good work, guys. Are guys. Thank Thank you guys are lovely. Thank you for supporting the work. Guys. We really, really appreciate it. Aeroplane, Aeroplane. flying overhead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the veggies. Oh, be quiet. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Really appreciate much appreciated. It. Thank you for helping TBC keep the show running. Now the veggies. We have some carrot. Oh, life with Rena. Thank you. Dollars. You guys have inspired me to go vegan. Oh, awesome. Three months in and Yay. I feel great. Please don't ever stop making videos. Much love from California. Mwah. Thank you so much, much Rena. Love so to glad you. we could inspire you. Good. All right, yeah. I've got to get. Oh, it's getting hot here with the oven. <laughs> I might need the fan soon. I'm overheating. 
We've got carrot, half a carrot, because that's what's left in the fridge. We've got some, uh, what are these called? King oyster mushrooms? Yeah, King, King oyster. oyster. Now these are really meaty and hearty. These are great to make burgers with. We've got a few recipes on the channel where we've used these before. And also to make your vegan bolognese sauce. These are really good, you just chop them up. Um, I pre-cut some cauliflower. Whoop, there goes the carrot. Some cauliflower and broccoli this morning at like seven o'clock because that just takes too long. So I wanted to get that organized earlier. Natasha is great at multitasking. I try. She is amazing. I'm terrible. Um, oh, what? Oh, okay, no, no, go, go, go. A yellow bell pepper or capsicum. Uh, Colleen, thank you so oh, much. Colleen, just please send all. You helped me go vegan over a year ago and I've never been happier. Fantastic. Awesome. You two inspire me to eat healthier, run further, and inform others every day. Yeah. A million thanks. A million thanks to you, Colleen. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Now, you can't see, but I've been adding a little bit of water to the quinoa as we're talking. And, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that this is an oil-free meal, as you can see. So, I've just put a little bit of water in the pan for the onions, okay? So, we're water sautéing. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Definitely. water sautéing. Right. So, a lot of people have been asking, do we use oil? No, we don't. We haven't no. used oil for about four years now. And, yeah. in actual fact, when we stopped eating oil, that's what cured Natasha's asthma of yes. 10 plus years. Yep. Um, and it was Within absolute, a few weeks. It was at its worst just weeks before stopping oil, would you believe and it? And this was as a vegan as well. So yeah. we were just eating really high fat, but it was the oil in particular that was just out of control. Yeah. Um, and Cordwell Esselstyn, the only um, cardiologist to have clinically reversed heart disease, uh, says that oil damages the endothelium which is the inner lining of the arteries and that injury is the gateway to vascular disease so it's not it's not great yeah it's also nine uh calories per gram and they're empty calories as well there's no or little nutritive value in them so. yeah so if you're trying to lose weight drop the oil now i'm chopping the veggies and we got the doggy bowl yes coconut oil as well dr All greg oil. has got some great videos on coconut oil in the last month check those out on nutritionfacts.org doggy bowl luca you're now famous <laughs> <laughs> okay so you just cook with water instead of oil yeah correct it's exactly. as simple as that you just have to add to it you know as you go along if it absorbs and you need some more Water so it doesn't burn and stick. Silly sister says, my mother always says, I could totally go vegan slash vegetarian, but never does. What can I do to help her finally convert? Educate Education. her. So just send her, work out what, what's going to do it for her. Is she going to be more inspired by the health angle, the ethical angle, or the environmental angle? And then send her the appropriate documentaries. Guys, I seriously feel like I'm on. What was that show we used to watch? Oh, Ready, I'm... Steady Cook? No. Or Iron Chef. Did you miss someone? Yes, someone just... That's all right. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. That's okay. Vanilla Fountain X just pledged five Australian dollars. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Showing the realistic side of veganism and not making it so complex. You've been the biggest influence on in my vegan journey. Awesome. That's Thank good to hear. Thank you so much, Vanilla Fountain X. We try to keep it simple because, you know, keep it simple, stupid, and we're pretty stupid and we can do it, so anyone can do it. I'm stupid, she's not. No. Right. I, yeah, I was going to say, I feel like I'm on Iron Chef. Do you remember that show from years ago? I don't know if it's still on, but we used to love it. Yeah, and it was so non vegan. It was so non vegan. Big, you know, but we yeah. weren't vegan. Oh, time. I think that. Hold What's on. What's happening? <laughs> no, burning. Hold on, I'm going to take you into the oven. Oh! No. Oh, wow, that All was right. seriously steam okay. burn. You okay? Yeah, You're and my right? face. Oh god. Wait, 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 leave it. Oh, how cool does that look? See, they're getting a little crispy and toasty. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to just flip them over. I'm going to put this down. Do you want me to flip them over while oh. you keep going? What about honey? Honey is not vegan. It comes from an animal. It's not a plant. Check yes. out a video by Bite Size Vegan. It's only five minutes. She walks you through why honey is not vegan. God, I just burnt my face. There's plenty of other vegan sweeteners that you can use. Maple syrup's probably the best. But then there's other things like uh, date syrup, which is good, coconut nectar syrup, um, agave syrup. Okay, I'm going to turn the onion off because I'm woo, behind on cutting the vegetables. So <laughs> I tell you guys, this is a lot harder than you think. <laughs> oh my god! The heat was a little too high, and uh, the, just, the the marinade on top of the um, tempeh and tofu burned a little. Oh, burned a little? Yeah. Okay, that's 
All right. I think the heat was too high. Okay. And also that lime might have... Um, the lime might have done it. Someone yeah. told me to put the lime, so that's your fault. <laughs> we used to put lime on pota baked potatoes, but they used to burn the seasoning, didn't they? Correct, correct. All right, so we're going to add some green beans. Unfortunately, these have been in the fridge a little bit too long, so... Um, yeah, they've got some spots, but you know what? They're still fine. Do you want these back in? Or... Yeah, we're going to do the other okay. side. So we flip them and we're going to put them back in. Watch the... Let's put it a bit lower. Okay. As in the temperature? Uh, both. Both, okay. both. Lower here and okay. lower there. But, you know, that looks really good. It's so, kind of firming up, so it's a bit crispy. That won't need much longer, though. Okay. All right. Hold on. I'm in panic mode. What am I doing? My grandpa makes homemade maple syrup. Wow. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Send us some. It's so expensive here. Do you guys drink apple cider vinegar? No, we don't drink it. We do use it as part of our salad dressing. Yeah. So, yeah. We used to drink it uh, years and years ago when I was trying to cure candida. We'd mix it with lime juice and cayenne pepper. It was disgusting and yeah. it never did anything. What cured my chronic candida after seven years of trying everything was a low-fat, predominantly whole foods vegan diet. Yeah. Getting rid of the oil was huge too. Oh, quinoa. Ah! I need more water. Okay. I need to concentrate. I'm getting all excited here. Yeah, someone says <laughs> Oreos have palm oil in them, so they're vegan by ingredients, but not by ethics. Yeah, that's right. If you want to yeah. learn more about palm oil and the ethical aspect, check out Bite Size Vegan's video on palm oil. It's excellent. I think um, uh, Alexis mentioned uh, blending dates with water as a vegan sweetener. Yes, yes definitely, because right. that way you still get the fiber. Yes. The problem with sweeteners, again, a lot of it is empty calories like oil. Yeah. Um, so we only ever use them as a condiment in a uh, dressing. Yeah. We never you know, put them anywhere else. Uh, empty calories once again. So yeah, dates where it has all of the fiber and all of the nutrition of the actual date blended with water, that's the way to go. Okay, so I've chopped up some beans. I, I think these are kind of on their way out, unfortunately. There's a few yucky ones in there. Okay, put them in with the carrots. Juice fam vlogs ask, is there a certain line of cookware you like to use? Um, do, I just showed earlier on uh, the green pan. It's a ceramic lined wok. Uh, it's quite healthy, quite eco-friendly. So yeah, that one. Yeah, dates and water is a really good idea. I'll yeah. tell you a story actually about this pan because um, we are limited with, thank you, You're what welcome. we have and you know, we don't buy a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we were in Malaysia and we really wanted, you know, a healthier pan to cook with. So we tracked down this green pan because we did a bit of research and we only travelled with um, carry-on luggage. And we're like, oh my god, how are we going to get this pan back from Kuala Lumpur? It's an 11 inch in diameter wok, so it's pretty decent. We put it in our, you know, carry-on luggage along with so many, um, dry food items like beans and nuts. Certain varieties that we couldn't get here in Thailand. Hilarious, and we carried this wok back with us. I mean, you know you're vegan when. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it was funny. Ever had tofu as a dessert? Yes, Laura Wong, we have. We had it in Hong Kong recently in that oh, uh, yeah. soup. Yeah, it yeah. was weird. It was, um, you know, they'd sweetened it significantly, and yeah, it was okay. It was okay. I'm more sort of a savory person. I've always been savory over sweet. What did mukbang mean in your past videos? It just means eating show. Uh, it's something that originated from South Korea, uh, where people would cook and eat with their audience, and it really took off over there, and now other uh, parts of the world are you know, doing it. So yeah, we, we enjoy our mukbangs as well. This is, yeah. uh, it's the next best thing to these live streams, you know, in terms of connecting with you guys. Exactly. Tofu-based ice cream is the bomb. I don't think we've ever had it, but I, I imagine it would be good. I imagine it would be good. Okay, so that's that. Come on, quinoa. I think I just didn't have it on the... Oh, that's enough. Okay. Okay, how's so, it going in here? I think this... Do you, do think you think that's done? What do you reckon? I think so. Yeah, alright. Woo! Alright, turn this <laughs> on. So... How old are you? We are both 37. Okay. All right. Wait, oh, where right, are you going? Sorry, sorry. Okay, away. so here we go. 
All right, that's all done and it's nice and crispy. Ideally, it wouldn't be burned at all. No, it's but... not bad. Yeah. All right, so the quinoa, oh, I've got hair up my nose. The quinoa is good. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that, but you've kind of got like little tails that come out of each uh, grain seed. seed. Yeah. Right, and that's when you know it's done. And then what you do is you set it aside, put the lid on it, and it just kind of absorbs any moisture that's left over. Take, mm. take it off the heat. We went vegan at the same time. Just over six years ago, August 26, 2011, after watching Gary Yorofsky's The Best Speech Ever on YouTube. Alright, so that's how you make quinoa. Now we're going to start cooking up these veggies. Stephanie says quinoa is cooked perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. Please stay. Oh my god. Alright. Caitlin says you guys are seriously adorable. I'm finding this a tad stressful right now. I'm yeah. very hot. Do we can we get the fan? Yeah, we can. I'm get really the fan. heating. Okay. <laughs> When did you guys start doing this? Um, we started, I don't know what the time is. Oh, we've been going for 42 minutes. Now, of course, please don't let this put you off if you think that cooking this meal takes such a long time. It doesn't, it's just that we're uh, multitasking. multitasking. Think about how much more focused you'd be if you were doing this on your own, not talking yeah, to anyone. Yeah, it doesn't take anything, so don't let it put you off. How's this? Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we'll just put it on one way, unless one you way? need it too. No, no, I don't need okay, it. Yeah. Is that good? Oh yeah, that's awesome. All right. Okay, now I know some people like to layer their vegetables, like you put the harder things in first to cook first and then the softer things at the end. Ideally you do that, but we're time poor, so we ah, just get it in I there. Just chuck it all in. If you've got the time for it, go for it. If you don't, just don't do Don't worry about it. it. There was a caterpillar that decided to defecate all over the broccoli in the fridge. So that took a bit of cleaning up this morning, <laughs> let me tell you. Glad we, uh, we prepared it earlier. Oh yes. All right, I'm gonna get some, Ashley, do you wanna do that? Do we get some new water? Yeah, sure. Great. Oh, let me just take a break. <laughs> this is fun, I'm very much enjoying it. Okay. How much? For some color. The third. Oh, uh -huh. just for rinsing, for rinsing. Okay. Try and answer your um, man will never get, oh, I don't know what this. Where are you from? We're from Australia. We're currently in Thailand. Actually, yeah, that's great. I like to say we're from planet Earth. Earthlings. We're Earthlings. Watch it. NationEarth.com. <laughs> 10 year anniversary special free. Yes, we will veganize just about anything you say to us. <laughs> Um, must have been fresh broccoli if there was a caterpillar on That's true, that's the way we like to look at it. If it's good enough for the grubs and the insects, it's good enough for us. And if they're going to poop on it, then even better. It makes it organic, I guess. Yeah, I always give the caterpillar some and eat the rest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sharing is caring, Alexis. Uh, you're look, right. I don't mind them eating it. I'm just concerned about them pooping all over it because you've got to wash it off and it's just a bit of messy pain. Caitlin says, how are you not literally dripping sweat? I would be soaking wet if I was running around like that. I know. We got the fan. Unfortunately, it's a cooler day here this morning in uh, Thailand. Normally it's quite warm. Normally it's quite it's warm. actually raining at the moment, so it's keeping the temperature yes, down. Yes, the weather gods were working in our favor. Yeah. <sighs> oh, Sarah Largo says, hi, hi from LA, making dinner with you guys now. Oh, cool, cool. that's awesome. Don't chop your fingers trying to watch us. <laughs> <laughs> Alexis says B12. Yeah, as in... Um... B12? Oh, the poop? Yeah, yeah, possibly. Yeah. I'm not eating calipita poop. I'm taking a supplement. <laughs> <laughs> Could you guys... Uh, Kezu Moonsun says... Kaizu Moonsun says, could you guys say hello to Elizabeth, my sister? She made me go vegan. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. Good on you for inspiring your sister to go vegan. Good job. I presume, yeah, sister, that's right, yeah. Would frozen veggies be an okay substitute? Yes, yes. definitely. In Absolutely. fact, we recommend that people keep a bag of frozen veggies in the freezer just as a backup. Yeah, and Dr. Greg has got a video on uh, the nutrition of frozen veggies versus fresh and yeah, no worries, pretty comparable. It's all it's, good to go. It's better. Ooh! <laughs> Garrett overboard, mayday! <laughs> One right. second rule. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's only been under my feet. Um, it's better to eat frozen veggies than no nice. veggies at all. <laughs> to eat the frozen veggies. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's very convenient. Yes. All right. Oh, good. Yeah, I use frozen veggies in my rice for a lazy meal. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. The last thing we've got is some greens. These are what are these? Little like. Do you know what these are? They're not bok choy, but it looks similar. Uh, are you sure it's not bok choy? I don't think. The leaves are... It looks like bok choy, but the leaves are a bit different. Yeah, well, they're calling it uh, Shanghai bok choy. Pak, yeah, pak choy. Yeah, bok choy is pak different. Choy, yeah. All right, anyhow, these are very yummy, and we will put them in towards the ends, just so the baby baby bok choy, they're yeah. saying. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we'll put them in towards the end, just so the greens don't wilt down to a completely disgusting degree. Plus I'm eating this in a couple of hours time. Well, we're eating this. Oh yeah, and I'll be having it with rice, which I'll cook in the rice cooker closer to the time we're actually eating it. And you know, it's rice, it's water, it's a rice cooker, <laughs> it does its thing. You know how to cook it. <laughs> Not much to show there. Oh no, I put the... <laughs> See, I got confused because I'm multitasking here. I put the scraps in with the bits that we're actually going to eat. Someone says, do you out. watch TV? No, we haven't owned no. a TV in about 10 years. Yeah. Um, we did, uh, as we were saying to James Aspie in our recent uh, podcast episode with him, which if you haven't listened to already, do check one. it out. He's such an inspiring guy. Lots to learn from James. Anyway, we said that when we first met him about three and a half years ago, almost four years ago, um, uh, we first learned about him through his year of silence. He didn't talk for 365 days to raise awareness for the animals. Anyway, he broke his silence on mainstream television in Australia and we heard that he was going to be interviewed on one of the popular morning shows there. So we, uh, we actually turned on the TV for that and, uh, yeah. and watched that. That was so. the, one of the rare occasions in the last, as you said, yeah. many years. <clears throat> yeah, love James Asmey, beautiful guy. Lovely yeah, guy. Absolutely. Yeah, that was a really good conversation. It was. So, we had some good laughs, didn't we? Yeah, love the podcast today. Good, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the new episode. Yeah, that's on minimalism. And, minimalism uh, and selling lots of things, including our wedding rings, everything. And it's also about, I guess, the things that we both found more challenging to let go of. And for Luca, Luca was a hoarder. You wouldn't believe the stuff that he I was a collector. A hoarder. An av avid collector I prefer to <laughs> hoarder. Anyway, I'm, it had lots of toys and figurines. Collectibles. And basketball cards and magazines. Couldn't believe. I mean, the guy that you see today as the minimalist was not who I married. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, what we're going to do is tahini or peanut butters. Ow! The oven's hot. Oh, I just burnt my knee. Um, I think we're going to do a tahini dressing with this. Tahini? Yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Oh, you just missed a jazz owl. Oh, jazz. Read that. Jazz owl just uh, donated uh, five Australian dollars. I've been watching you guys for two years now. Oh, wow. You have made such a big and positive impact on my life, and I'm forever grateful. We'll always support you. Thank you so much, Thank Jazz. Thank you so much, Jazz. It's so beautiful. glad we've been able to help in some way. Thank you. It always freaks me out when people say I've been watching you for years. It's like... Two years. What a loyal subscriber, huh? The early stuff was just shocking. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, Thanks for sticking girl. with us. Thanks. Hope we improve your time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. So I think we're going to make a tahini dressing with this. Someone asks, how do I donate this? It's called Super Chat. There must be a button somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> um, tahini or peanut butter? Happy with tahini? Yeah, I'm happy with tahini. Yeah, yeah. either or it's fine. All right, yep. let's go. Tahini it is. We've got a little bowl. Did you see that? Oh yeah, playing. and with your tahini guys, uh, make sure you look for oil-free tahinis. This is just 100% yeah. uh, sesame seeds that are ground, because when the seeds are ground, they release their own oil. They don't need added oil. Yeah, I don't so, know why they sometimes so, they yeah, add look oil for, to tahini. When you're looking for your nut butters and uh, seed butters, always look for oil-free ones, because they'll always produce their own oil. I have to say, smelling cooked vegetables this early in the morning, especially after we've just had breakfast, 
Yeah. It does not smell good, it's not enticing. Yeah. <laughs> totally different when we cook this at lunch. Yeah, or like if we were having sort of tofu scramble for breakfast, which you know that we've had once this year, uh, that would be okay, but we've just had bananas and oats and it's like, yeah, I don't want to smell veggie now. I need you to move it. Okay. So, I can get you stuff. Oh, can you? What do you mean? Right. Tahini, Didn't dressing, everything. Oh, all yeah. the things, yeah. Okay. All right. Great, and maybe uh, that other spoon. Yeah. That one? Yep. And you've got lime already? Yeah. Do you need more lime? No, I think I'm good. Okay. okay. And you got cayenne pepper? No, but I will. And one more thing. Oh, soy sauce. Soy yeah. sauce, I got. Alright. I thought you just farted as no, no, the no, chair. No, 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 the chair. I was going to say, look at that lime. What you are see you how I can replicate it? <laughs> see? See? <laughs> Alright, sit down. I believe you. <laughs> does one of you cook more than the other? We share it. Look, it does. It's, about, it's probably 50 50 these days. It varies. Traditionally, Luca would do more just because I'm uh, doing more editing online. What soy sauce do we use? It depends where we are in the world. Right now, we're getting something that's 58% water, 18% organic soybeans, 16% salt, 6% organic jasmine rice, and 2% organic brown sugar. So it's gluten free, but it doesn't have to be gluten free if you're not, if you don't have celiac disease, as I mentioned earlier. Okay, so in terms of. <laughs> no, 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 someone, Alexis says, sure, the chair. <laughs> That's what I reckon, Alexis. I'm going to use two heaped tablespoons of tahini. Is that enough? That's, that's what we usually do. Yeah, that sounds good. Lammy Winkle says, okay, guys, love you, but I need to go back to work. Okay, bye, oh, Lammy Winkle. Go back to work. Daniel Gould just pledged two. Pound, I think that is. Yeah, that's, that's a pound. pound. British pound. Pardon thank me. You, I Daniel. have nothing to say. Daniel, thank you so much. <laughs> Pardon me, I have nothing to say. <laughs> really appreciate <laughs> it, mate. Thank you. Thank you, thank mate. Thank you so much. Okay, we're using uh, organic agave syrup as our vegan sweetener. Hitler was an animal rights activist, but not vegan. He was actually neither. That's just propaganda. By uh, they wanted to make him uh, look like Gandhi, uh, his um, contemporary in India at the time, uh, who was very popular with the people. So check out Gary Urofsky's website adapt.org and he has a whole essay on this topic. Yeah, that's a d a p double -T, t dot org. Animals deserve absolute protect protection today and tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> Cayenne pepper, just a sprinkle. Okay. Joel Chong is saying opinion on soy. Check out uh, just Google Dr. John McDougall soy. And he wrote a newsletter article on the truth about soy. It's excellent. Soy sauce. <laughs> Basically, the less processed the soy, the better. So the soybeans are the healthiest. Um, edamame in their pods. Uh, then you're looking at something like tempeh, which we're using today, which is uh, fermented, but um, you can still see the soybeans. Then you get into tofu, where you can't see the soybeans anymore. And then you get into the mock meats that takes the soybean and turns it into, you know, things that look like animal products. So there's a hierarchy when it comes to soy. The closer it is to the whole food, the better. But yeah. it's always, any of them are always better than eating animal products. Yeah. So don't be afraid of them. Yeah. I've just added the bell pepper and the greens. Beyonce, Beyonce Rep says, uh, do you guys have a recipe book here? We do. We it's do. on our website, thatveganpubble.com. Yes. Are you guys going to do a mukbang too or just a cooking demo? Just a cooking demo today. Not eating this for a couple of hours. It's still <laughs> the morning here. Uh, we're, we're doing the mukbangs on the weekend because people have more time to watch the longer videos. Yeah. And today's just cooking show just worked out today. Yeah. Okay, so that's all in. What's the difference between tahini and blending up sesame seeds? Same outcome. Look, yeah, I imagine the companies that manufacture it um, yeah. probably just have really good machinery for it. I guess if you've got appropriate machinery, you could try it. We've never actually tried to make our own know. tahini at home. If anyone else in the comments has, um, maybe you could comment. Oh. Keisu Moonsun says, I can smell the food. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, the first, because we, we didn't eat, uh, what's it called, tahini for a long time. And then when we introduced it into our meals earlier this year, 
<laughs> we just took it straight out of the tahini jar and started dipping our potatoes in it. We're like, oh, this is gross. This is so bitter. And we'd forgotten it had been so many years since we'd uh, last had it that it had to be mixed with things like lime juice or soy sauce or uh, uh, sweetener. vegan sweetener. And everyone's yeah. like, no, don't make it like that, you two idiots. Mix it. I don't know whether you told, whether you mentioned when you were making the dressings. The six, we've said this before, but it is really handy. Uh, I think we said it on another live stream. Yeah. Um, to make a good dressing, you can follow the F A S S S method: a fat, an acid, a salt, a sweet, and a spice. The spice is optional. Um, the rest are kind of a good base. Yeah. So, like here, the fat would be tahini. The acidic would be the lime juice. The salt would be the soy sauce, the sweetener was the agave in this case because that's what we can get, it's cheapest here in Thailand at the moment, and cayenne pepper would be the spice. So F-A-S-S-S, -S -S, really handy guide and you can use, you know, we could have used um, peanut butter as a fat or mustard for example, yeah. we could have used apple cider vinegar or lemon as, or balsamic vinegar as the acid, yeah. could have used actual salt instead of uh, soy sauce as the salt. Lots of options. We actually talk about this, we've got a whole page on it in our uh, recipe ebook for the person who was asking do we have an ebook. Yes. We give some more examples there. Okay, Kathy says I blend them in a coffee grinder. Oh, the okay. Actual, the sesame seeds and you make tahini, it, it makes tahini by simply blending them in a coffee grinder, Kathy. That's interesting. Um, Be good to make your own, wouldn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> What's the difference between brown and white rice? And uh, the difference is that the brown rice is the whole grain, so it, in, it contains the bran, the endosperm, uh, all of it. The white rice has had the outer layer removed, so there's um, less fibre, less nutrition. Okay, so we're just combining all those ingredients. Joel says, when are you guys coming to Singapore? When the airfares get cheaper, Joel. <laughs> At the moment, uh, other neighbouring Southeast Asian countries are cheaper, like Hong Kong and Malaysia um, and, and Laos. But Singapore is a bit further and a bit more, a bit more expensive. expensive. So, yeah. Okay, so there's your tahini dressing. And hey, I think we're done. How long was that? Uh, An hour. hour. Yay! Press the buzzer. Have you guys cut back on rice consumption in any way since Dr. Greger's videos? Yes, we have. We've in, uh, increased our legume intake and reduced our uh, whole grain rice intake as a result. Uh, and a, also, I've been having more quinoa. Yes, yeah. When are you guys coming to the US? As soon as we... Stay tuned. Yeah, as soon as Stay we tuned. can. Um, we'd love to come. Huge audience there. 40... Almost 50% Almost of our audience is from the US. Almost 50. I think, no, I think it's, um... What is it? No, it's like 40, low 40s. Oh, is it low 40s? Yeah, between 40s? the US and the UK, it's over 50% of our total yeah. audience, yeah. Yeah. Um, All right. Do you have a favourite bean? I'm a chickpea lover. Kristen, you got chickpeas. it. Chickpeas. Chickpeas for the win. Chickpeas and lentils, I think, are our yeah. two favourites. And then after that, black beans. Yeah, got some lentils soaking actually that I'm going to have today with this meal. Alright, should I do up a plate? Is that necessary? I don't think so. Hold on, this is what we're going to do. Do you want to pour it? Yeah. That's right, you keep going. Tips on lowering salt intake. Lime, lime. and herbs and spices. Lime, lemon, herbs and spices. Um, that would be our, that would be our tips. Favourite greens? Um, we enjoy Morning Glory here. It could be called Swamp Cabbage in the US, but I'm not entirely sure whether it's exactly the same green. Um, but basically, it's really high in iron and protein, um, and it just tastes really good when we mix it with some lime juice, cayenne pepper, and soy sauce, and have that on the side of uh, anything, really, but we enjoy it with baked potatoes. Um, we also like broccoli very, very much. Try to have that every day. Yes. Uh, these uh, green beans are really nice. I like bok choy. Bok choy. And these little baby ones that we've got today. Yeah. Um, we used it's to so eat, uh, in Ecuador, we used to eat uh, collard greens. Uh, we used to use them as wraps. Yeah. They were really good. 
I'm not too much of a fan. Um, and we used to eat a lot more kale than we do now. Um, yeah, but because we used to douse it in oil and salt, yeah. without that it's a bit... Mm. Yeah, but we do um, cook it in a meal like this, for example. It's yeah. just that the kale quality is not the best at the moment. No. You know when it's like really ravaged by insects, like a little bit's okay, but then too much insect infestation is just like... We just it got would, holes it would take, throughout it. It would take us too long to clean it up or whatever, so we haven't been buying the kale at the moment. Come to Sweden, we can go skiing. You know what? We've oh. never been skiing before. We've been to the snow, but we've never been, been tobogganing. Skiing. Tobogganing. Do you know what yeah. tobogganing is? Where you see the oh, you yeah. see the toboggan, don't you? When you yeah, go down. Yeah. yeah. That's hilarious. Seeing us toboggan. Wow. How to prevent stir fries from going soggy? Don't overcook them. And yeah. the other tip would be add the harder vegetables first, and then the softer vegetables uh, after. All right, guys. Will I show you the end product? How long have you been vegan? Just over six years. How many countries have you been oh. to? Almost 30. But we've been to many, several times. All right, can I show them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So, the veggies cooked up. I don't know if you can see this. Here you go. The tempeh and the tofu marinated. That's your tahini sauce. That's the quinoa. Oops, it's saying to rotate device. I hope you see that properly. And that's the meal. What do you think? Looks good. Hey, Corey. Uh, Corey just joined Hey, Corey. What's How are you, up? mate? We've been cooking up a storm. Nice to see you, bro. Yeah. All right. So that is a very simple vegan meal. And you've got, you know, obviously veggies. You've got a, a grain. You've got something that can definitely, you know, has got more of a meaty texture with your tempeh and your tofu. And that marinade, what time is it? Uh, 10 o'clock. All right, it's 10 o'clock, but I'm gonna take a bite. <laughs> oh, that's really yum. That's nice. Good. You're not gonna have any, are you? No, no, no. <laughs> As for the tempeh? Nice. Mmm. I like it that it's crispy. You know, it's just like the baked is really nice. That looks really good. Talika Saintil says, you guys don't eat added fats, but do you eat avocados and other naturally fatty foods? Yes. So we're eating tahini. This morning we had peanut butter on our breakfast. Natasha had some walnuts as well. I also had flaxseed meal. Uh, the avocados here in Thailand are terrible. Oh, so we bad. We try to buy them, but inevitably nine out of ten of them are crap. Well, we do buy them. Yeah. And it was just like... They're better in the U.S. as Oh, live stream oh. Okay, you can come over here if you want. Alright. That's pretty good. You back? Yeah, we're, we're back. back. Can you adopt us? <laughs> we adopt you all, our little <laughs> vegan children, our online family. Lost them. We're back. We're, we're back. back, guys. Okay, I'll just close that. Okay. All right, guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this. Yeah, if you have, leave us a comment maybe on the actual live the stream video, video that goes on the channel. Yeah. Um, we know you probably have. <laughs> <laughs> don't leave us. And, um, I don't know what else to talk about. The meal's done. I'm out of here. I've done my work. <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely do another one because we've enjoyed this heaps, guys. Yeah, this is really fun. Um, Thank you so much for joining us. To everybody who contributed on this uh, super chat, we're really, really honestly grateful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. It means the world just Cammie to keep Black the show running. And Alexis Black, who moderated for us today. Thank you very Thank much, you, ladies. ladies. Really appreciate it. Help yep. us out a lot. Um, what's the other thing? Oh, I wanted to say, if you have a suggestion for a meal, let us know if you want us to make something. Warning, I don't bake cakes or sweets or muffins. <laughs> that just doesn't work out. <laughs> yeah, he's laughing now because he knows. Disaster. Um, but anything you're kind of curious about vegan cooking, let us know. I hope this has helped people give you some ideas. Yeah, I hope we've been able to answer some questions that you guys might have had. Really enjoyed interacting okay. and engaging with you guys. Someone says burgers. Yep, yeah, we can do burgers. Yeah, Definitely, yeah, that's yeah. a really good yeah, one. Yeah, we've got a couple of uh, burger recipe videos on the channel, but we can replicate them in a live yeah. stream. No Someone worries. says school lunch ideas. Now, uh, don't leave your comments here. Put them on the actual <laughs> channel because these are going to go soon. Um, I was going to say, yeah, for school ideas, see, we, we would just take the same thing that we regularly eat and put them in containers and take them with us for school, you know? Vegan lasagna, oh, that's a little bit too too much. I don't know if we have vegan lasagna sheets here, maybe. I'm not sure, but we can look into things. But I like the burgers idea. So, hope this has had, you know, encouraged people to try vegan cooking, giving you some ideas. 
Um, what else? Is that it? I think that's I think I'm lot. repeating myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Really fun, guys. Thanks for joining us in the kitchen. It's been great connecting with you yes. guys. Really feeling the energy. Yeah, and hey, I made it out without any chopped fingers. No blood, no splashes on my no shirt. Burns. No burns? No burns, well, except for my face from the steam burn from you the okay? oven. I'm okay. It was just a, yeah, initial yeah. shock. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> All right. See you guys in the next bye, video. Guys. Thank you. Thanks so much. See ya. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> I like seeing all these buys. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the video will be up on the channel. So if you've just joined us, you can watch the full video. Yeah. We appreciate you too. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Have a great day or night. Oh. <laughs> Ciao. See you guys. Bye.